The fictional universe of the Star Trek canon, which evolved out of the 1966–69 TV series Star Trek, is a vast complex of planets, organizations, and peoples that together comprise an example of the science fiction practice of worldbuilding. A Armazara, homeworld of the Armazarite species. Akamar III, homeworld of the humanoid Akamarians, who finally reunited the marauding gatherers into their world's mainstream with Captain Picard's help in 2366. Akradi 7, site of a conference supposedly attended by Lawaxana Troy before she changed her plans to visit Enterprise D. This is likely a ruse by Deanna Troy to get Captain Picard off ship for a vacation. Adarak Prime, planet in Cardassian space and location of a weapons depot. Adelphus IV, destination of the USS Enterprise D. At the time Worf handed over the con to Data for the Night Watch after O'Brien's wedding in 2368. Adigen Prime, planet where young Julian Bashir was genetically modified by his parents to enhance his mental and physical skills. Agaran, planet whose government was allied to Vulcan in the 22nd century. Agilon Prime, lone class M planet of Agilon in the disputed Arcanus sector, three days warp from Deep Space Nine, and home to a Federation colony. Half the residents were trapped after Klingons captured two settlements in the Northern Hemisphere. Kalanda's besieged hospital was located at one end of a peninsula near a Starfleet base at Tananda Bay. Akali Homeworld, the third planet of the Omega Sagittary star system. Minshara class homeworld of the Akali species, visited by the Enterprise NX-01 in 2151. Akritiri, Delta Quadrant planet with a fascist police state that maintained a prison satellite in 2373. Elastria, a delta quadrant planet with a binary star about 40,000 light years from Sakaris, accessed via the spatial trajector. Aldea, a supposedly mythical world in the Epsilon Minos system whose inhabitants constructed a planet wide cloaking device to hide the planet from marauders. The cloak effect deteriorated the ozone layer and, over time, rendered the Aldeans sterile with radiation poisoning. Aldebaran III, third planet in the Aldebaran system, a long-time Federation member planet on which Janet and Theodore Wallace performed experiments using carbohydrate compounds to slow the aging of plants. It is the location of the Aldebaran Music School. Grand Nagus Zek's nephew Belongo was once detained on Aldebaran III by Starfleet. Dr. Ira Graves, who attempted to cheat death by uploading his consciousness into Lieutenant CMDR. Data, wanted to flee to a location in the Aldebaran system, so he could live on with his love, Kareen Bryanon. The Aldebaran system is the home of a particularly tight-mouthed creature called the Aldebaran Shelmuth. Scott and Picard share a bottle of Aldebaran whiskey. Alderaan, in 2135, HMS New Zealand was on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. The Bajoran criminal Abuddin, charted a space flight out of Alderaan. Alpha 177 Class M Planet Geo surveyed by the USS Enterprise NCC 1701 on stardate 1672.1, when a transporter malfunction trapped Lieutenant Sulu's landing party on the surface overnight during freezing cold that left some suffering severe frostbite. Algerin IV, destination of the Enterprise D after leaving Relva 7 in 2364. It is near the Romulan Star Empire and the namesake of the Romulan Federation, Treaty of Algerin, which banned the UFP from developing cloaking technology. Alondra, an uninhabited planet in the remote Federation system of Palace 14. It was engulfed by a matter-energy cloud on star date 5371. Alpha 3, planet where a code of law ethics known as the Statues of Alpha 3 were written. Alpha Carini 2, Class M planet on which Dr. Daystrom's M5 computer was tested in 2268. Note, in biosystem nomenclature, Alpha Carini is the technical catalogue name for Canopus. 
Alpha Carini V, the home planet of the Dreller, an entity that absorbs in love its senses around it. Alpha Centauri – Alpha Centauri was an inhabited planet in the Alpha Centauri system. Alpha Cygnus IX – Ninth planet of Alpha Cygni, the classical bio-format name for the star more commonly known as Deneb. It lends its name to an historic yet otherwise unspecified treaty negotiated by Ambassador Sarik. Alpha Eridani II – Planet where the Redjack entity may have been responsible for various murders in the city of Heliopolis. Note, in Biosystem Nomenclature, Alpha Eridani is the technical catalog name for Arcanar. Alpha Laputa IV – Planet on which the USS Zhukov makes cultural observations. Alpha Leonis System – The Enterprise D is ordered to take medical supplies from Starbase 343 to an unspecified planet in the Alpha Leonis System. Note, in Biosystem Nomenclature, Alpha Leonis is the technical catalog name for Regulus. Alpha Majoris I, short form for the first planet orbiting Alpha Ursi Majoris. Homeworld of a life form known as the Melitus, which is gaseous in transit but becomes solid when still. Note, in Biosystem nomenclature, Alpha Ursi Majoris is the technical catalog name for Dubai. Alpha Omicron 7, a Jupiter-like gas giant where a large spacefaring alien was found and unintentionally killed. It was discovered that the alien was pregnant and its baby was birthed post-mortem. The baby was then reunited with other adults. Alpha Onius III, a barren yet light blue class M planet with hazy clouds, considered uninhabited until Barash's species was discovered there in 2367. One large cavern two kilometers below the surface contains stalactites, stalagmites, and volcanic gases including methane, sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. Alpha Proxima II, one of several planets where female residents were brutally stabbed to death in the style of Jack the Ripper. A life form that fed off terror and fear was responsible. Alpha V, an Earth colony that was home to some of Charles Evans' relatives in 2266. Alpha 441 Planetoid which was home to a marquee munitions base in or near the demilitarized zone. It was the original programmed target of the Cardassian Dreadnought missile. Orsorian homeworld, inhabited Delta Quadrant planet ruled by the Mokra Order, a military dictatorship suppressing its Orsorian population while claiming to be helping its self-defense. Altair III, third planet located in the Alpha Aquilae star system, where Lieutenant CMDR. Riker refused to let his commanding officer on the USS Hood, Captain Robert DeSoto, beam down due to a potentially dangerous situation. The Hood transported Tam Elbrun to the Enterprise D after DeSoto had communicated with by then CDR Will Riker. Altair IV, fourth planet located in the Alpha Aquilae star system, Lieutenant Darian Wallace was born on Altair IV. In 2371, Dr. Henry Roger, of the Central Hospital of Altair IV, was awarded the prestigious Carrington Award for his work in medicine. Altair Vi, center of the Altair system, the planet was recovering from a long-time inter-system war when the USS Enterprise was ordered to attend its new president's inauguration ceremony in 2267. In the Kobayashi Maru scenario, the ship was 19 periods out of Altair Vi. Inspired the name of the Altair 8800, Altamid, a Class M planet within the Necro Cloud Nebula, beyond the edge of Federation space. In 2164, the USS Franklin crash landed on Altamid, where Captain Balthazar Edison used abandoned technology left by the extinct natives to survive, mutating in the process and becoming known as Kral. Kral would later launch an attack on the Federation from the planet in the Kelvin timeline. All those IV, homeworld of the BZ Zit cart species. Altur 7, planet whose protein baths and meditation chambers were simulated by Quark's Holosuite. Dr. Crusher wanted to try the program when the Enterprise D visited Deep Space Nine in 2369. Amargosa, system where the Amargosa Observatory was located. 
In 2371, Dr. Tolian Soren used a trilithium missile to destroy the Amargosa star in an attempt to redirect the Nexus energy ribbon. Amarand Homeworld, a Class M planet, otherwise unnamed, located in a dense asteroid belt and home to a colony of Native American Indians that were transported there from Earth by an ancient race known as the Preservers centuries ago. The planet, first surveyed by the USS Enterprise NCC-1701 in 2269, was protected from the asteroids by a defense shield obelisk created by the Preservers. Amleth Prime, location of a Cardassian base in the Amleth Nebula. The nebula's emissions rendered cloaking devices inoperable making a sneak attack on the base difficult. Andivian II, vacation planet known for its moons and breathtaking landscapes. Andoria, the Andorian homeworld, a frozen M-class moon orbiting the blue gas giant Andor Procyon 8, is a longtime member of the Federation whose inhabitants are distinguished by their blue skin, white hair and antennae. Andoria is near the Vulcan homeworld, and the Vulcans and Andorians are, perceived to be, traditional enemies. Andoria is also host to an Andorian subspecies called the Anar, who live in isolation from the rest of their world. The albino Anar are blind but strongly telepathic. Vulcan Ambassador Valar negotiated the first treaty between Andoria and Vulcan. According to data, Andorian marriages require groups of four. It is not known whether the Andor – Andoria system is located in the Epsilon Indy star system Star Trek – The Original Series or Procyon system Star Trek – Star Charts. Andros III – Home of Dr. Bathkin. Angel Eye, a remote Class M planet orbiting Alpha Grus, located near the Romulan neutral zone. Targeted as a potential Federation member, no doubt due to its strategic location. Its humanoid matriarchy was visited by a UFP ship in 2302 before the USS Enterprise D came looking for a disabled freighter's survivors 62 years later. It has no traces of naturally occurring platinum. Angosia III, homeworld of the Angosian species, who emerged victorious from its war with the Tarsians. In 2366, the Angosians's bid to join the Federation was jeopardized after Captain. Picard discovered that the native authorities had imprisoned its bio-altered veterans on a lunar colony once the war was over. Antid III, homeworld of the fish-like Antidine species. Antica, a planet in the Beta Rena system and homeworld to a canine-like carnivorous race who are deadly enemies of their system neighbors, the Soleil. Antos IV, home to both a species of giant energy generating worms and an intelligent species who have perfected the techniques of cellular metamorphosis. Captain Garth learned the ability while convalescing on this planet, it undermined his sanity. R558 planet in the Chintoka system of the Alpha Quadrant which is inhospitable to humanoid life. It was the location of a Dominion communications array. During the Dominion Federation War, R558 was invaded by Federation troops and held for five months without relief forces and minimal supplies. Arcanus IV, Federation colony world which Gowron wanted evacuated in 2372-73, Cisco says it's a long way from DS9. While under the power of a hostile entity, Pavel Chekhov once claimed that the research outpost on this planet was the site of an attack on his non-existent brother, Pyotr. Archer IV, the fourth planet in the 61 Ursi Majoris system, and the first habitable M-class planet discovered and explored by the Enterprise NX-01. In the 22nd century, the pollen of plants on this planet had a powerful hallucinogenic effect that nearly caused Commander Trip Tucker to murder science officer Teapol on suspicion of colluding with imaginary aliens against the Enterprise crew. By the 23rd century, this problem was solved, and the planet became the home of a thriving Federation colony and was named after Captain Jonathan Archer. In the 24th century, the USS Enterprise NCC was en route to Archer IV when it encountered a temporal rift. In the alternate timeline created by this incursion, the planet was the location of a major battle in which Federation forces defeated those of the Klingon Empire. 
Archer's Comet, not a planet, but the largest comet ever discovered and large enough for an away team to land on it with a shuttlecraft and collect core samples. Note, proper reference to it should be to Comet Archer. Archer's Planet, planet in the Gamma Trianguli sector. Not to be confused with Archer IV which is a different planet. It was the Enterprise D's destination when it encounters a temporal rift. Arcturus IV, homeworld of the Arcturian species. Ardana, third planet orbiting the star Rishalas, Mu Leonis A. A Federation member in 2268, despite then supporting two widely disparate castes, the privileged upper class lived in the city of Stratos, considered the finest example of sustained anti-gravity elevation in the galaxy, while the lower class, troglites, were forced to stay on the surface and mine Zenite. James Kirk helped end years of mistrust between the two in 2269 while retrieving Zenite to stop a plague, and the caste differences were eliminated at Federation request. Argana 2, the Enterprise's destination as they leave Emania 7 for their next assignment. Argelius 2, planet strategically important for its port for spacefaring races, especially thanks to its hedonistic and hospitable humanoid natives. It was beset by the murdering Redjack entity in 2267. His stateroom on the Enterprise D is so spacious that Scotty says it reminds him of a hotel room on Argelius. Argratha, Gamma Quadrant homeworld of the Argrathi species. Argus X, planet surveyed by the crew of the USS Enterprise NCC-1701 where they encounter a vampiric entity. Arianus, a planet threatened by a bacterial invasion in 2268, until the Enterprise conducted an orbital decontamination. Arcaria, inhabited planet and the site of a support base for the orbital Remler array, where would-be terrorists and local administrators tried to hijack trilithium resin waste from the Enterprise D's warp drive during a baryon sweep. Arlof IX, Geordi mentions that the starship USS Charleston will make an extended stop at Arlof IX. Armus IX, Riker wore an outfit during a diplomatic conference made of ceremonial feathers from Armus IX. Arat, counterpart of Earth. Terror. Spelled backwards in the alternate universe where time flows backward. Arvada III, site of a tragic disaster where a young Beverly Crusher and her grandmother were two of the few surviving colonists. The elder woman's knowledge of medicinal roots saved them when medical ships were late. Ashalan V, a Cardassian fuel depot in the DMZ near the Badlands. It was the target of the Cardassian dreadnought weapon which was reprogrammed by the Marquis. The weapon was intercepted first by the Caretaker Array and sent to the Delta Quadrant where it targeted the inhabited planet Rakosa V. Astral V, Federation colony with a museum dedicated to spacecraft. Italia 7, site of a diplomatic conference delayed by the Enterprise D's involvement in Dr. Galen's genetic puzzle. Atbar Prime, Cardassian planet, site of the Cardassian Liberation Front's headquarters. The base was destroyed by Dominion forces in 2375. Athos IV, planet which was the location of the last pocket of the Marquis Resistance who hid below the surface. The group was wiped out in 2373 by Dominion forces. ATIF's IV, planet where the ruling oligarchy employs a stone-knocking ritual of thanks during mealtime, echoing that of the Betazoid and Ulan culture's meal chimes. ATLEC, planet located in the Omega Sagittar system. Along with the people of Strelob, its population makes up the coalition of Medina. War between the planets almost broke out in 2362, when the rogue freighter captain Thadian O'Connor was accused of stealing the Strelob, Jewel of Thesia, for Yadar, the daughter of Atlex leader Deben. Atreir IV, this planet's cooling core magma was reheated by the Enterprise D while working with its native scientist, Dr. Pran Tana, and his wife, Juliana, one-time wife of Dr. Song and co-creator of Data. Orked IX, planet with a Federation medical facility visited by the Enterprise D. It is spelled with an apostrophe and a smaller in the subtitle track. 
Aurelia, homeworld of the Aurelians and a member of the United Federation of Planets. Avenal 7, planet in Cardassian space that Klingon ruler Gowron ordered a disastrous attack upon in 2375, where all Klingon ships were destroyed. Avery 3, planet in the Delta Quadrant within the Vidian Sodality. It was the location of a hidden Vidian base. Aksana, located in the well-known Epsilon Eridani system. Homeworld of the Aksana species. It was also the site of a historic mission led by Garth of IZAR. Topic B. Bisari 2, homeworld of the Bisari species. Baku, class M planet hidden inside a region of space called the Briar Patch. The planet had unique metaphasic particle rings that generate a rejuvenation effect on its inhabitants, a lost colony of Sunna who settled there sometime in the 21st century. In 2375, an attempt to strip the rings of its particles by the Sunna commander Ruafo and the recently widowed Vice Admiral Matthew Doherty of Starfleet was foiled by the crew of the Enterprise E. Babel, neutral planet where the Federation Council met in 2267 to determine the admission of the Caridian planets to the Federation. The Articles of Federation were signed on this planet in 2161. Babel orbits Wolf 424, close to Sol and Earth. Bajor, homeworld of the Bajoran species. It is the seventh planet in the Birmingham system. The system is known for being near the Bajoran wormhole which provides access to the Gamma Quadrant. The space station Deep Space Nine orbits near the system. Bajor 8, eighth planet in the Bajoran star system with six colonies containing several thousand Bajoran settlers. Its proper name is Andros and it has at least two moons. Terrorist Tana Loss, after picking up the explosive Bilatrium from the Duras sisters behind the lower moon, threatened to blow up the planet's colonists in 2369 if Major Kira did not take him to Deep Space Nine. Balanka, Alpha Quadrant planet and the source of Syrup of Swill. Baloney Vi, a vacation planet pronounced Baulus Ne, where the soothing harmonies of the tides can cause stimulating hallucinations. The world was one of Zek's two choices for his first vacation in 85 years after his short-lived retirement as Grand Nagus, but he eventually opted for Reza and its voluptuous females before faking his death. Banian homeworld, Delta Quadrant homeworld to the Banea, an independent spacefaring culture in competition with its rival neighbor, the militaristic Namiri. During a stop by the USS Voyager in 2371 to repair a damaged collimator, Paris was convicted of murder and forced to relive the act repeatedly through memory implants, the Banian penal method, until a Namiri spy was revealed to be the true killer. Barissa Prime, Federation colony located near Senkathy Space. In 2371, the USS Defiant answers a fake distress call from Barissa indicating the world was attacked by Senkathy forces. Barkon IV, Alpha Quadrant homeworld to a Renaissance-level culture ruled by village elders and a magistrate. A downed probe was retrieved by Data, who suffered memory loss on the mission and subsequently contaminated the inhabitants of a nearby village with radioactive material. He later found a way to cure the inhabitants of the resulting radiation sickness. Baradas III, planet where Riker was captured by mercenaries led by Arctis Baran while searching for Captain Picard's killers. Riker discovers Picard posing as one of the mercenaries to infiltrate the theft of artifacts. Barson II, planet where the Enterprise D transported medical supplies to fight a viral outbreak. Barzan, an independent Alpha Quadrant planet that is home to a poor but proud race whose hopes for progress based on a nearby wormhole were dashed in 2366 when it was discovered to be unstable. Beltane IX, a trading planet of some merchant marine repute within a shuttlecraft's range of Relva 7. Jake Kurland, a rejected Starfleet Academy finalist, intended to run away from the Enterprise D and sign on aboard a freighter there. Venezia Colony, a young Federation colony with only minimal medical facilities in 2269, when Dr. Janice Lester used them to hide her life energy transfer with James T. Kirk. 
Also, presumably, the location of the rehabilitation colony where the Caridian Company was slated to perform, but where Lenore Caridian herself was instead treated for a psychotic break after killing her father Anton. Benthos, homeworld of the Benthon species. Benzar, homeworld of the Benzite species, in orbit of Securus, better known as Delta Pavonis. One native, Ensign Menden, served on the Enterprise D as part of an exchange program. Another, Mordok, became the first of his race to be admitted to Starfleet Academy. In 2374, Benzar was conquered by the Dominion during the Dominion War, and later liberated by Romulan forces. Berengaria 7, a planet known for its dragon-like lifeforms. In 2151, the Enterprise NX-01 scouted the planet as a proposed site for one of the Federation's first starbases. In 2373, Win Adami asked Captain Benjamin Sisko rhetorically whether the Federation would sacrifice Berengaria to protect Bajor from the Dominion. Bursalus III, planet with renowned firestorms, which occur every seven years. In 2369, the storms forced the Enterprise D to evacuate the Federation outpost there. Beta the third, planet whose society is ruled over by a computer called Landru. Beta the sixth, Federation colony and destination of the USS Enterprise NCC-1701, before crew were abducted by the entity Trelane to his planet Gothos. Beta the twelfth A, location of a Federation agricultural colony. In 2268, an alien entity sent a fake distress call the Enterprise NCC-1701 claiming the world was attacked by the Klingons. It was all an elaborate ruse to get the crew of the ship to fight the Klingons so the entity could feed off their negative energy of hatred and anger. Beta Agni II, Federation colony whose water supply was contaminated with tricyanate by trader Kivas Fajo as a diversion to kidnap Lieutenant CMDR. Data. Beta Antares IV, world mentioned as the home of a confusing, and terribly complicated, card game called Fizbin made up by James Kirk in a ruse to escape captors on Sigma Iota II in 2268. Beta Aura G, the USS Enterprise was to rendezvous with the USS Potemkin at Beta Aura G, but Dr. Janice Lester, in Kirk's body, diverted the Enterprise to the Benessia colony. Note, in biosystem nomenclature, beta aurigy is the technical catalogue name for menkalinin. Beta Aquilae II, second planet in the Beta Aquilae star system. Location of a Starfleet Academy Annex. Note, in biosystem nomenclature, beta aquilae is the technical catalogue name for Alshorn. Beta Cassius, another name for the Class M planet Haven. Beta Cupsic, destination of the Enterprise D after leaving Starbase Montgomery. Beta Niobei, also known as Sarpaedon, this Class M planet was visited by the USS Enterprise in 2269 hours before its star Beta Niobe went supernova. The Enterprise crew discovered the natives of the world had escaped their fate by time traveling to their world's past. Beta Stromgren, star system claimed to be in Romulan territory where a red supergiant was on the verge of going supernova. It is the system where the Vega 9 probe found the living spaceship, Tin Man, a.k.a. Gomtu, orbiting near the star. The ancient living ship, apparently the last of its kind, was lonely and ready to accept its suicidal destruction before joining with the Betes prodigy Tam Elbrun who had been in psychic contact with it. Beta Ursi Minoris II, location of a Starfleet Academy Annex. Note, Beta Ursi Minoris is the buyer designation for Kochab. Betazed, also called Beta Zeta V, Betazed is the homeworld of the Betazoid species, and member of the United Federation of Planets. It is the homeworld of Counselor Diana Troy, and her mother Ambassador Lawaxana Troy. In 2374, Dominion forces took over Betazed, but it was liberated by the Federation's 10th Fleet. Betelgeuse II, homeworld of the Betelgeuse and species. Beth Delta I, planet where Dr. Paul Stubbs offered to take Counselor Troy to see the city of New Manhattan over Champagne. Balana III, planet where a science institute served as the base of operations for an experimental type of propulsion called a soliton wave. 
The wave was generated by field coils on Balana 3 and pushed a test vessel toward Lemma 2 at warp speeds without the ship itself generating the warp field. At Lemma 2, a dispersion field would stop the wave and the ship would exit warp. Balaran, system with a Federation colony. Amanda Rogers' adoptive parents were stationed at Balaran. Blue Horizon, terraformed planet, the site of a Federation colony. The planet was visited by Benjamin Sisko and his son Jake on a vacation trip. Bakara Vi, planet and site of a neuropsychology seminar attended by Deanna Troy in 2369. Troy was abducted from Borka Vi by the Romulan underground, who used her in a plan to help Murray defect to the Federation. Bolaris IX, Federation planet and home to the Bolian species. The planet has an uneasy truce with the Maropa. It sent at least two delegates to the Biennial Trade Agreements Conference on Betazed. Bopak III, uninhabited Class M world in the Gamma Quadrant where Bashir and O'Brien encountered Gemahadar trying to break their Ketracel White addiction. Its plants have a high degree of chlorophyll for the planet of a red giant star. Boral II, homeworld of the medieval Boralan species. Its atmosphere suddenly began a catastrophic dissipation in 2370. The Enterprise D answered the distress signal sent by Dr. Nikolai Rajenko, Worf's foster brother, who fell in love with a native woman while disguised as a cultural observer and broke the Prime Directive to save her village. Borodice III, site of the first Federation outpost in the Borodice system founded in 2331, and the first of 13 that have since been settled in the sector as of late 2365. Julian Bashir recalls the time he cured a plague on Borodice III. Boreal III, planetary home port or residence of the non-Starfleet transport ship Kalisco, destroyed by the crystalline entity. Boroth, the most sacred place of Klingons, pronounced Boro -th", where Carlis was supposed to return. It hosted a monastery for clerics keeping watch until his return and was maintained after their cloned version became emperor in 2369. Worf went to Boroth to seek the return of Carlis and found a clone version instead. Worf visited Boroth again after the destruction of the Enterprise D. DS9 had several artistic depictions of Barath on the promenade deck and in the replomat eatery. Borg Prime, the homeworld of the Borg speculative. The exact location is unknown, but most likely deep in the Delta Quadrant where the Borg control a huge empire, however it is not the center of governance, that is located in their unicomplex. Boslich, homeworld of the Boslich species. Brackless V, a planet where La Forge has skin dived among coral reefs. Braslotter, system with three with planets Totoro, Braslotter I, Yuri, Braslotter II, and K, Braslotter III, which were fictitious codenames used in Operation Lovely Angel, a battle simulation between the USS Enterprise D and the 80-year-old USS Hathaway. Note, the names were only seen on a computer screen and come from the anime series Dirty Pair. Brax, planet in the Gamma Quadrant whose inhabitants call Q the God of Lies. Vash visited Brax while in Q's company, though they were not particularly welcome. Brechtian Cluster, system with two inhabited planets threatened by the crystalline entity. Briel IV, an inhabited world facing the planetwide chaos of quakes, massive tidal waves, and climate-altering dust clouds when its asteroidal moon threatened to fall out of orbit, until Q helped out. Breen Homeworld, the frozen wasteland home of the Dominion-allied Breen species, who must use armored pressure suits when living on many Class M worlds. Its climate is well known to off-worlders. Kardashir, for one, has an embassy there. Brecker, native name for Delos IV, the Class M home of Felicium, an organic narcotic used by its natives to keep prosperous after they kept system neighbor Ornera secretly addicted to it for 200 years. Note, this Delos IV should not be confused with the planet of another system, commonly called Delos, that is the site of an established Federation World Medical Facility. Brentalia, a planet where endangered lifeforms from different worlds can be brought for refuge. Two of the last 14 surviving Gilvos of Corvin II were transported by the Enterprise D here for refuge breeding. 
Worf took Alexander to see the planet's zoo. Brinda V, inhabited planet where half the population of a small planet was reported to have been transported away by Orion traders to work as slave labor in their mining camps. Constable Odo had read of the incident and initially compared it to the situation on the Udera colony. Bringloid V, Class M planet endangered by increasing stellar flares and instability in 2365, home to the 223 descendants of the mostly forgotten neo-transcendentalists dropped off by the SS Mariposa colony ship that left Earth in 2123. Anachronisms even then, the people took refuge 30 meters below the surface but repeatedly refused to develop advanced technology. Browder IV, planetary site of a terraforming effort by the USS Hood in 2366, to which the Enterprise D was bound after helping end a plague on Corps Carolee V. Picard's kidnapping by aliens as part of a bizarre study on authority delayed that mission. Brunali Homeworld, homeworld of the Brunali species. Brimer, a former Cardassian colony site in the demilitarized zone where the Deep Space Nine runabouts held off a marquee attack on a confirmed illegal arms depot amid the civilian center. The system included an Oort cloud. Commander Sisko worried that a forced Cardassian response to the attack would destroy the fragile peace treaty with the UFP. Binus, a planet orbiting Beta Magellan and home to the Bina race, a computer-dependent culture threatened by a nearby supernova's electromagnetic pulse. In 2364, natives commandeered the Enterprise D, the only mobile computer large enough to store their master banks. Topic. See also. List of Star Trek planets, CF GL MQ RS TZ